Okay, so we're going to be making stuffed cabbage soup. And I got this four ounces of uh, lean, organic, all natural ground beef. Well, it's not lean, it's 85%, it has 15% fat. So that's what you want on the keto diet. And I got a good deal on it for $3. So we're going to start and I'm going to fry this up in the pan and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we got this in a frying pan and we're going to grind down that ground. Crumble this up. But Cooked off here. Yeah. Get it started. Sorry, I always do that. And, okay, and we'll come back to that in a minute. And in the meantime, I filled, well, I'll show you. I filled my crock pot with about, uh, I'd say an inch, inch and a half of water. So, so I put the water in the crock pot, about an inch and a half deep. And let that start getting hot. While I do this, and I'm gonna, I gotta go cut up some onions and some cabbage, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is looking just about right. I'm gonna shut this off, and I'm gonna put it in the pan, in the crock pot, the water, and then we're gonna saute up the rest of the stuff. So we'll be off in a minute. So that's how that looks right now, and we'll be coming back to this in a little bit. Okay, I forgot to show you. I need to put salt, so I have, let's see, iodized sea salt. And I don't measure, I just, I know about how much I use when I make soup, because I can always add more later. And then I have some fresh basil. Sorry, this is kind of a crowded area. Just throw that in. And I have some thyme. We have fresh herbs. I grow them and I have them in my kitchen. They were on my deck during the summer and I brought my plants in with some parsley. I just like fresh, okay? And then, sorry, <laughs> we're gonna add some onion powder. We like lots of spices. That's what makes your food flavorful. Also, spices are so healthy for you. That I think that's why the plain American diet is not as healthy. Um, and then we have cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. You don't have to add the cayenne if you don't like hot. It's not really hot, but and then we have like garlic powder. Make sure it's just 100% garlic, not something with the, because other some some of the spices have other ingredients in them. They have wheat and soy, so we like a lot of garlic. Okay, and then some black pepper and extra parsley because my parsley I don't want to clip it too short because I'm getting low on it because I use it so much so I have to give it a chance to come back and thrive a little better okay so we'll put that away and we'll be back whoop what almost forgot to stir it up a little bit so it gets down in there okay and it might look like a lot of salt but I'm going to add uh, crushed tomatoes to this too so so we don't want too much water but we want enough so we'll put that covered and we'll be back Okay, so we don't want to wash the pan. You want to leave the hamburger grease that is in there. And then we have some Lipo Berrio olive oil. I use the big can because I told you I cook a lot. And you want a good amount of oil because this is supposed to be high in fat. And this is the olive oil. You don't need to worry. It's a healthy fat. And we'll throw some onions in here. This time I used a small, just a small chopped up onion. I'll turn the stove on. Okay, and put it probably between three and two, which is medium low. Okay, and then we have our cabbage. I have to work some of it down. Because, whoop, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to have two hands to pour that, and I'm going to add just a little more olive oil over the top. Okay, and then we're going to saute this for a little bit and then we'll dump that in the pot. And then I'm going to get the cauliflower ready. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, so if you can see, I covered this just to steam it a little so it'll wilt down a little bit. And we'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, so we're going to add cauliflower while the cabbage is getting sauteed. So, excuse well, see if I can do this. 
Okay, so the cauliflower I used is, I used a bag of frozen because I didn't have, like I said, my garden didn't do that well this summer. So, and then, anyways, because and, we moved here last year and I got started late working with everything else. Okay, so the cauliflower is in there and it's just all little pieces. You don't want to use, um, with the cabbage, when you cut up your cabbage, make sure you don't use the core. It's really hard and gross. Okay, so we're going to put this to bed for a little bit. And we'll be back. I'm going to check on this. Wow, that's hot. That's the top of the cover by mistake. Okay. You'll see some of my mistakes. I don't do much editing. Sometimes I do, but I have enough with the titles. And my schedule is so busy. And there are the holidays. And I have school to finish. And presents to make. So, anyways. Gifts. I want to get busy with my sewing machine. Get sewing some presents. Anyways. I'll put the cover back on for an the burn this time. Okay, ow, again. It's not major burning, but it is hot. <laughs> Can't be back. Okay, so I took the cover off and I put it over there so I don't get burned again. <laughs> and we're just going to turn this. It's starting to shrink down a little. Looking good. Smelling amazing. Smelling amazing. I talk too fast sometimes. I think it's the Italian in me. Well, oh, anyways, yeah, it's probably too close. All right. Okay, that looks really good. Sorry, I do that. I gotta stop doing that. <clears throat> looking away and putting the camera in the wrong direction. I'm looking at the food and not the thing. Okay. So this is just about ready to go dump in the soup. So we're going to dump it in and we'll be right back. Okay, so I dumped the cabbage and the onions in the soup and see how thick it's getting now. It's looking good. Sorry. All right. There. And this is going to be for dinner for tomorrow. I'm putting it on tonight and then I'll shut it tonight and save it and then I'll just heat it up tomorrow. Okay. And then I use Tutoroso crushed tomatoes, okay? I like this because they always keep basil in it. And it's really good and it's non-GMO. Where's their, see the little non-GMO sticker? I always look for that when I buy my, anything that's in a can. So. And then this is just gonna stay on high for an hour. Well, I'm probably going to leave it on high because I'm taking it off tonight and then I'm going to put it away and save it and then tomorrow I'll heat it back up. So I'll leave it tonight because I have a lot of homework to do. Then I'll, I'm going to have my grandkids tomorrow and I won't have to worry about cooking. And then when it's done, you can add whatever kind of cheese on top. If you like Romano or uh, Parmesan, you know, whatever, mozzarella, whatever you like, provolone and so, and then I'll come back tonight when I'm ready to test it every once in a while because you have to keep checking the spices and make sure it's enough salt and enough spice, but you gotta let it get hot for a little bit. And I didn't even realize I didn't have plugged in in the beginning the hot water, so pff, whatever. Anyways, well, so I'll be back in a few, in a little bit. So this is the finished product, the stuffed um, cabbage soup, stuffed cabbage soup. So I put some cheese on top and looks yummy, so. Anyways, thank you. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and have a good day. This is how it came out. It's really good. So this is our stuffed Yeah, cabbage stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I have my grandkids. Caitlin. I'm not. <laughs> okay. She's eating it, so it's good. Alright, well thank you. Give us a thumbs up and have a blessed Hi, day. I'm back. Okay, so I uh, I'm ready to try this, and I topped it with some cheese, um, an Italian mixed blend. And, uh, you can see, very 
cheesy. It's really, really uh, good, actually. I did have a bite before, so <laughs> and I'll let you see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. It's not very flattering trying to eat online. Oh, no. YouTube. It really is good. It's really good. Especially for you pasta lovers, if you like sauce, and it's really good. I'll show you what it, what it looks like. I just got a little bit left, but it's really good. Mm. It's really good. So, try it out yourself. Let me know in the comments if you tried it, if you like it. Um, I'm, our family, we usually eat a lot of soup, so... I'm trying to think of, I use that, um, what do you call that? Yeah. Oh, what's the name of that app? I've been telling everybody, I can't concentrate because my grandkids are here and they got that march, ants go march it one by one. But, um, I put, um, My Fitness Pal, that's it. If you go on My Fitness Pal, and the app, and then you go into, you log your food and then you go into Nutrients. And then it'll it'll go to macros. You go to the macros, and it'll tell you. It'll tell you what your um. That's the way this camera looks like I'm looking to the side. Okay, Caitlin. <laughs> if you go to macros, it'll tell you exactly how much fat and carbs. But also, when you're looking up the food, it'll tell each food, even if it's a restaurant food or a special brand. It'll tell you what the carbs are, what the um, fats are, what the protein, everything, and if there's sugar in it. So it's a really good app. I like it because then it gives me, I can look up those individual ingredients, even that brand name, and see which ones are the lower ones and just go out and buy those. So, But anyways, comment in the be below and let us know what you think of this. And I do have to say this is my sixth day on it. I lost six pounds and I have so much energy. I can't believe it. I was up till 1230 last night sewing these curtains that, with my old treadle that I was supposed to do them like a year ago and I just didn't have the energy and I'm too busy. And I got so much done today, I just can't believe it. And my husband says the same thing. He just, he drives truck like 17, 18 hours a day and he just can't believe that he has energy and he's not hungry. So it is working, it's really good. So anyways, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you. And God bless you, have a good night. What, Christopher? Say hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Have a good night, my kids. All right. Yeah. See you later. It's kind of a crazy house, but we love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Take your cho-cho out when you... Goodbye, everybody. Everybody. Hi, Bobby. Okay. Say see you later. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye.